Now, where was I? Um, solo or... Yes, so... If I do solo, it might just be just, you know, just one mission. Um, so yeah, you guys can totally come in, not even a problem. How are you all doing today? I just found out that I can do chat audits, which is great. So I can click on Stevens here, and it pulls up this whole window. And then I can see that he's got um, over 999 messages in my stream. And then I can actually scroll through the entire history of his messages. <laughs> <laughs> the power. Unbridled. Unassailable. How many do you have? Let's have a look. It's gotta be up there. Yo! Purple Vintage! You've chosen the right squad. Thank you for the subscribe. Welcome to the Perp Squad. Welcome to the Perp Squad. You chose one hell of a mixed bag for today's stream. I see a lot to unpack about Gara. So we're gonna talk about Gara in a second, because I have I have many thoughts and questions. Uh Christoph, you have over 999 messages. So just for context, it's 999 plus, so it just stops counting at that point. So you got a lot of messages, which doesn't surprise me at all. Um, but this is great. This means I can I can call to you and, and keep keep track of you guys and protect you. Hey Ricky, have you seen the new Cyberpunk update? Well, actually, I've <laughs> actually got a video um, about that that went up nine minutes ago. Um, yeah, it's I it seems really cool. Any thoughts on it? Also, Gara is my boo. But you choose energy when you do a damage chain with her. Oh, okay, that's interesting. I wasn't aware of that, but we'll talk about that. But just to quickly derail, just for a hot second about Cyberpunk. I mean, I was... I, I've, I've always loved Cyberpunk. Now, there's just a little bit more to love about it. I um, I did an apartment tour, essentially, is what it is. Um, that's the video that's gone up at the moment. And I think it's really cool. Um, like, little changes here and there. But it's nice, you know? Um, the fact that you can actually get, like, buffs from sleeping and, and whatnot is... That's fun. Uh, you get rewards now for... Essentially... Um, you're doing jobs for the fixes. It's not quite the system I would have... I was hoping for initially. But it's better than, than, than it was, you know? Uh, it's better than nothing. Now at least there's there's a nod to some progression with the fixes. That's nice. Um, crowds seem to behave a little more naturally. Now when I bump into cars in the street, they don't just stop dead and go catatonic. They will actually like try to m maneuver out. and It's cool. The world feels a little more alive. Um, there's like the, the patch notes are, are big. There's a, there's a lot of small things going on. The biggest thing is probably the apartments because that's like whole new big chunks of, of stuff in there and it's great it's look it's a wonderful world and i will probably return to it picked up cyberpunk like a week ago currently learning the bunny hop glitch oh i'm not too sure about this one in before they pull a no man's sky i was thinking about this yesterday um i think for two reasons it uh, cyberpunk won't get to no man's sky levels of redemption um as much as i would love it to i would really really dearly love it to i don't think it will for two reasons firstly um they're not indie so they probably can't get away with wasting heavy inverted commas um that much time on on developing the game that much like as much as hello games has um with no man's sky and secondly i think i look somehow i feel like generally there's going to be people who aren't going to be open to forgiving cdpr go watch the engoodening of no man's sky i have it's a good one it's a good one. a lot huge respect for no man's sky and the devs even though they've gone in, in a direction that isn't to my liking, but you know, good on him for putting that much work into it. Do you think Gara's glass would taste differently depending on how you color it? Absolutely, yes. 
100% yes. Alright, let's talk about Gara, huh? So. She's like the AoE frame. Right? Hang on, one, one, one more comment here on what we're talking about. I feel like the difference between it, Cyberpunk, and No Man's Sky is that No Man's Sky was basically a box with nothing in it at launch. 2077 was functional but heavily flawed. Yeah, yeah, there's that too. Um, yeah, I think it's not it's not unfair to make comparisons between the two, but it is also not wholly appropriate. Um, yeah. Who else sells hounds they don't need? Oh, you monster! She lives and dies by her two. I figured. Yeah, I love the two. Cyberpunk isn't really a game designed to last for years. It's a couple of playthroughs and you're done, so it doesn't have years to recover. That's also an excellent point, yeah. Uh, that being said, I've beaten it three times and I'm ready to start it for a, for a fourth. Um, for me, it's it's like I, I can see it being falling into the same category as The Witcher, in that it is something that I play like once a year or once every couple years. Um, it's like a really great series that you just keep going back to watch. Like Farscape for me or Battlestar Galactica. Um, Sheet, am I late? My Twitch notification got buried under thousands of YouTube notifs. Nah, you're not too late. You're pretty good. We've been live for 15 minutes and we haven't even started yet. <laughs> hey, Ricky, nice to watch a, catch a stream. Sorry. Get well soon, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm not, yeah, look, I won't go into it, but yeah, there's, um, they actually cancelled my doctor's appointment this week, which is why I managed to get a video out at all. Um, which is great, 30 minutes before the appointment. Um, but next week, yeah, I'm expecting to be... I, I think I'll just I'll just say I'll take the week off, because I'm not sure what's going to happen. Um, Gara equals AoE. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gara is multiple things at once. Nuke, DPS, defense. A true jack of all trades. Cries in Broberon. Dot cancels always a pain. Yeah, and look. <laughs> so they can they, they cancelled, called to to say, hey, would you like to reschedule? The doctor doesn't have an opening until March. And I'm like, well, it's too late then. Um, so I'm like, just just cancel it. And then I call back like 30 minutes later, I'm like, hey yo, is there anyone else I could make an appointment with? And the receptionist goes, oh, so you've, uh, you cancelled your appointment and now you want to, uh, make a new one with someone else. And I'm saying, no, 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 you guys cancelled on me. She goes, no, 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 we called to reschedule your appointment. It's like, oh, buddy. <laughs> oh, you got to split hairs with me. Anyway, very frustrating circumstance. Um, her first is a dual pack. Press to send a puncturing shard to the, to the enemy. Hold to sweep an area in front of a slash damage. Yeah, so I've been using mostly the slash. Um, so the rate, the 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 tap is a little bit deceptive because it's a projectile. I keep expecting it to go further than it than it does, uh, so I keep pulling short. Um, so I'm just like sweeping all over the place. Plus, I you know, multiple birds with one stone, and it slices them in half. It's so good. Gara today, hmm. Kind of sad I sold her. Missed opportunity because I was a poor innocent MR6 that didn't know how to mod. That was me for Ember, yeah. Her second is an AoE around her. Or targets, right? Scales with shards of her destroyed fourth. Yeah, that's the one that I'm not too sure about. Like, I understand that there is a synergy there. But I'm not sure exactly how it works. Um... So is it just four, destroy the four, two will be buffed? Or is it four, destroy the four, and depending on certain circumstances, the two will be buffed to the certain extent? Third is crowd control that allows you pull energy out of thin air with your, or with the augment. Yes, yes, I remember that. Bill Gareth and Nuke, defense. But I'm not an expert with her TBH. I just use her specific defense. Use her for specific defense missions. 
Her fourth is CC Defense Nuke casting it refreshes the duration of her second. I guess it would, like, cause cause you have to go through the the ring as it expands, right? You can reverse the hold and tap ability and options to make it easier to spam one. Yeah. It's fine. Now, in this particular case, I don't mind the hold. Because it kind of feels... I don't know. It feels like a bit of a heavier situation. Little tip. When you detonate the wall with her one, the damage of the detonated... Hang on. Damage of the detonation puncher versus slash depending on which form of the one you use to break... I didn't even think of, of holding it to break it. That's a good tip. Thank you. Also, speaking of it too, its duration gets replenished when you cast four. Yeah, when you when you go through the ring as it's expanding specifically. So I guess that just happens by default when you cast it. And to stack the two, you have to break the wall from outside it. You want the wall shards to fly towards you. Oh my god, yeah. This <laughs> is so just freaking yours. But here's the thing, guys. Spectro Rage... Does this seem to... Well, look, that's not fair. I think I came to the conclu... I, I think I fixed it or figured it out during the first half of the video that I've already recorded. But initially I was having the trouble where it just, just seemed to not work at all. Firstly, it, it, it looks like it's a targetable ability. It's not. You just cast it on the ground. It's actually a lure. I had to go to the wiki to figure this out. Um, it's a lure that entices individuals in. And then they get stuck in there shooting their reflection. But the problem is, the way I see it, because it starts out with only four mirrors, it's re see, I, I was always, I was looking for like, how do I increase its its radius, right? There's no, there's no um, r radius or range or anything stat on there to, to change. Um, but it's just the number of mirrors that increases its size. So because it was only four by default, it was so freaking small that it wouldn't actually pull anyone in. At most, um, enemies would get caught on the edge of it and just like not know what to do. So it seems, in my experience at least, until you rank it up and maybe mod for it, kind of doesn't do much. Believe if other gyros break their walls, it buffs your two as well. Oh, yo! That's pretty rad. Yeah, kind of a wonky move. Two, then one. Resets timer on two. Sorry, two, then four. Resets timer on four. Go outside wall. Break wall. <laughs> with one. Charges two. Aura with damage. Four. Reset timer and so on. Yeah, <laughs> If I remember correctly, the effect range of her three is extended past the mirrors. Right. Up to like double, right, okay. Is Gara an, an older frame? Cause she, she whiffs a little bit of an older frame. Where there's some things that are, it's so like some pretty important things that are unexplained. Also, there seems like there might be a way to control the size of mass vitrify she came shortly after planes of eidolon i keep wanting to say path of eggs <laughs> not specifically she only recently received her prime yeah okay gara's from around 2018 that's a lifetime ago man i swear every time every time i deal with with dates and years over the past few months or so. Like, I'll see 2019 written. I'm like, yeah, that was just like six months ago. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, she came out in 2017. Right on. Cool. All right. Here I am, sir. Invite me when you're ready to go. Owo? Oh, no. We got Owo's. Newbie Bill Gara should give you a rough indication of what to go for. Let's have a look. Or well, the longer you let her fall go, it's been a hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. People born in, in 2004 turned 18 this year. I hate it. How old was I then? I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> 24. 
Okay. That's when I started teaching, roughly. Is it? No. No, that's not right. No, sorry, I was 14. I added 10 years. Oh, by the way, been watching some of your videos on YouTube. Glad to see you're having fun with Warframe. Don't let, let yourself get burned out and enjoy at your own pace. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing my best. Newbie build uses Umbra mods. I mean, to be fair, hey, I got all these mods. Is it can't be too un -newbie. Um, I mean, you get the Umbral mods from, from a quest, so it's fine. A frame I know nothing about, rip. Okay. Um, yeah, this is totally fine. So, let's run through it. I'm, look, I'm looking for patterns here. Strength. So, you're sacrificing efficiency. Duration and strength. Yeah, okay. I figured my first instinct was duration. For sure. Now, interestingly enough, I have found myself to be a bit squish. So, as of right now... As of right now... I mean, I had, I had this going. For the first half of the video. Um, I'd love to put adaptation on, but I can't fit it currently. I kind of feel like streamline is important at the moment, but maybe, maybe it's not. Maybe I can get that going and then what we do, um, we could do that for now and get some serious duration going. Maybe this will work better for us. I mean, our energy is at 173. That seems oddly specific, doesn't it? <laughs> she can also blind enemy. Yeah, that's right, that's right. That's, yo, yo, yo. Thank you for reminding me. I mean, I would have remembered eventually, but yo. I freaking love the radial blind. Awesome freaking passive, but I have no idea what triggers it. So it's like, what was it? The, it's, it reads like uh, bright lights trigger the passive. What does that mean? Do you really need adaptation? Doesn't Gara give you armor? I'm not sure. I, I've actually died quite a lot with her. The passive is a random chance per second. When not explicitly in shadow. Ah! Yeah, I thought it had something to do with, um, with light and shadow. But then I thought, like, is it looking for, like, specific flashes? But is that even something that they would keep track of in the game? I don't know. Okay. So glad we got that clarification. It's random as fuck. I feel like it, it comes up a lot. Her two gives you damage reduction. Yeah. I mean, look, let's run like this. And we'll see how we go. It could, it could just be ranking woes, you know? A good way to keep track of light. Put a clip on Gara. It'll give you a buff indicator if you're in the light. Interesting. The passive is still pretty consistent considering it's random. I mean, absolutely. <laughs> like it's it's probably. <laughs> I would say almost 100% of the time someone is blinded. And it's for a decent amount of time too. Like it's, it's a free radial blind that is honestly better than Excalibur's. Or rather more practical, more useful. It's huge. At 200% ability strength, my two gives me 90% damage reduction. You probably need to max rank her first. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. All right, let's take her out. We're coffeeed up. We're good to go. 
Anyways, got to head off. Last question though. You got to watch play anything. Digimon in the meantime. Hang on. You got to watch play anything? Uh, no, I haven't. I haven't. But uh, look, I'll get around to it eventually. It's, um, it's been a, a busy year so far. The light thing is pretty much the last vestige of back in Warframe's earlier days when the game was run as a hybrid stealth shooter system. Man, I really wish I'd experienced that. I mean, make no mistake, I love it as it is now, but I would, I would love to see an, uh, an iteration of Warframe that focuses a little more on stealth. That seems so cool. All areas of the game have basically two settings to the AI, shadow and not shadow. And they take an extra second to see you in shadow or something. Wow. Freaking rad, man. So that, that game that you give to me, Christoph, is that like a good primer for Digimon story-wise? Stealth Assassination, that could be so much fun. I mean... Ivara. <laughs> Pogged out of my gourd. I mean, there's a reason I still use Ski Ajati, you know? Alright. Um, let's do this, lords. I'm opening it up to the squad. We're going to slide into Hydrant. So, for those who are new to the stream, perhaps, you could add me as a friend. It's Ricky Summer, no space. And then you are free to join the, squ the squad. That's how we run things here. Try our best to rotate people out so everyone who wants to play gets a chance to play. A lot of stuff in Warframe is reused from the 2008 shooter Dark Sector. Yeah, I heard about that. It's got like a, a very Excalibur looking bloke in there. Yeah, so whenever you're not... Sorry, whenever you're in not shadow, you're in light and can proc the flash one. All right, looks like we've got a full squad. Let's jump on in. So I actually, I'm really, really liking Gara. There's just a couple of things where I'm like, that doesn't seem to be working and I don't understand it. Um, but I think I've cleared up most of them. Considering they're made by the same people. I mean, yeah, obviously. <laughs> but it's just fun to look at, to see um, an older game that has, I mean, nothing to do with Warframe in the you know, story sense. Like, it's not part of the chronology of Warframe. And it's like, hey, there's just a Warframe in there. Do you ever watch the old Warframe-y Dark Sector trailer? Interesting parallels. Hang on, is it a Dark Sector trailer or is it a, a Warframe trailer? Oh, Rick, you may freak out slightly here, but I leveled up my Solaris United standing twice in four days. I'm now rank five. That's it. I will have to crack open your skull and eat your power. <laughs> all right, what are we doing here? So, all right, here's something else I'm not too sure about. When do you guys use the two the most? Do you cast it on yourself the most? I've found I had a lot of success casting it on <coughs> the defense objective. Um... But casting on, on enemies, I'm not too sure is... I'm not too sure if that's very useful. It's a Dark Sector trailer? I think I've seen that one. Before. Yeah. Two is mainly for yourself. Okay. Alright, well, let's, let's try that. Let's see if we can get that going. So, I mean, it's obviously it's floating around us. And then... Like, we need to get pretty close, don't we? Okay. <laughs> it seems to be working. Yeah? Yeah, cool. I cast it on me for a combined defense, defense situation, but I also put it on defense targets. Hang on, I've got a question. If you cast it on, on the defense target, do you not get the armor buff? Because that would explain why I died a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you, Chief. I completely forgot you cast it on things other than yourself. Okay. No, you do not know. Oh, that explains it then. Okay. 
Fantastic. Now we understand everything. Also, for some godforsaken reason, I build my Gara for damage with narrow minded. And it was literally shit. Oh no. That's, that just sounds like a mess, honestly. I love the sound, though. The doo doo. Look, I think you guys are going to love me theorizing how the, um, how the passive triggers in the video. <laughs> because, um, <clears throat> as it stands, I think, I think halfway through the video, I, I'm of the belief that whenever you trigger the glass sound with an ability, that's the, um, that's the passive procking. <laughs> uh, Bullwick. Bull bulwark hello welcome to the stream <clears throat> you know have mul multiple instances instances of the ability active but the timer only tracks the last cast gotcha have you tried to signature weapons i'm gonna go out on a limb and say no probably not the sound is what hooked me on gara the most honestly it's so satisfying it's pretty dope so riddle me this batman is there any connection between gara's glass and the glass maker as still is a signature glass slug auto shotgun it wrecks where do you get it from <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to try the three, now that I've buffed it a skosh. Okay, it's... Hang on. Was that only four shield? Four... That's still only four. I... Oh no, I took stretch off. That's why. That's why. Yeah, it's kind of... It's kind of not great, huh? <laughs> Yuriki tried refreshing second by shattering the glass wall. I have tried it, yeah. Um, or rather passing through the glass wall. So like... Thus? Do you choose to leave now or horrible timing? <laughs> Shatter me, daddy. Is still this from the market? Prime is rounds. Yo, okay, I'll peep it. I can probably just scoop it up as we speak. And as for whether Nihil and Gara have any connection, no, not really. Neither lawwise nor mechanically, so Gara can't shatter anything made using Vitrica, for instance. Right. So it's just like two unaffiliated instances of glass, huh? Am I still I'm still popping here. Hello, Squire. There is actually a connection between Gara and I, Nahil, as we hear from the Gara Prime trailer. Really? Using Vitrica with Gara makes you feel like a glass lord. Maybe I already am a glass lord, sir. Would love to see it. Alright, I kind of feel like, I don't know, it was a long day yesterday, I kind of feel like I need to remember how to play Gara. <laughs> um, also it doesn't help that there's a full squad here too. So, what was I, I think I would, look, honestly, I was just running around. Ah, I know, I know what, what what's making me feel weird. Uh, I was just stealth killing everyone. That's what it was. <laughs> I just cast two on the uh, defense objective and then waited waited for the passive to proc and then went to town. It was friggin' beautiful, man. It was a whole situation. There is something in the Gara Prime trailer to suggest that she was given glass powers to spite Nihil by Ballas because the original Dax volunteered to become a Warframe and, Ni and Nihil didn't like that. And then Margulis begat 
so and so who begat so and so and 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 so it went on we we really we need a warframe bible how freaking rad would that be like hear me out yo squad just straight up a thick dusty tome leather bound that just tells the story of warframe but in a very dry biblical way i fucking love that so much it's called the codex no 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 i need i need a tome baby Rick, have you done the new war quest yet yeah and there's four videos of it a four a four part epic on the channel And what a glorious piece of work it is. It's pure pog. Well, <laughs> you better start writing. Oh no. Oh no. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll add it to the list. Okay. S so am I correct in thinking? Hang on. Let me, let's, let's talk through this. So if I cast, cast the glass. It indicates 12. Now, initially, I thought that was HP. Yo, is that Grendel just pumping it? Oh, shit. Anyway, so I thought the 12 indicated HP. But now I'm thinking that maybe the, the ring is divided into 12 sections. And it's, it's indicating how many sections are left. Is that more accurate? Indicates glass panes? Yeah. It's a number of ring panels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Gotcha. Squad. Let me let me hook you up here. Okay, so let me let me run through the gamut here. So it's two four one two four one two four one two four. Like that? That's what we're doing here. Oh, that man has been split in twain. Each panel should have its own HP, which depends on how you modded it. No? It's two, hang on, two, four, one, four, one. Oh, so wait, because we keep refreshing two, so we never have to recast it. Okay. Okay, all right. Okay. So, two, and then I'm out of juice. <laughs> oh, heavy ledge. Okay. Extraction is ready. Unless you can handle more. Jump to cast it. Yeah, yeah. There does seem to be a a lower limit. Not the greatest jump of my life. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. That's refreshed. Okay. All right. So that's the pace. You keep track of the timer on on the two to indicate when you need to cast the four. I mean, but that's that's just for for max D, I'm guessing. Okay, that was not enough because it's taken too long. So what's what's the rough rough cast time on Thank you, sir. What's the rough cast time on the four? get the energy plates at some point is that the one that um gives energy back for the three your two is infinite scaling excuse me <laughs> but when you cast four turn it off quickly so you don't try oh you can turn it off and then turn it off then slide out of the piece pop the piece Slide betwixt the piece. Find some boys, ideally if possible. Squire. Pop it off. Did it... Did that work? Schlep it. I see you. Pop it off. Slide into the piece. Keep it going. There you go. We're just resetting. All the live long day. You love to see it. You ever seen a man slide into the piece before? 
beautiful if true. So, hang on. Let me get this straight. I think I understand your comment now. Infinite scaling. So, are you saying that every time I shatter the ring, it's just compounding? Is that correct? I'm surprised you didn't go for the heavy pink. Oh, the heavy pink is in the in the lighting. Don't even... Oh, oh, you mean the... Okay, on the energy? Look. Maybe I will. There's still time. In the indicator at the bottom right. Damage! Oh! How did I freaking miss that, man? Anyway. Sliding into the piece. Yeah, I think I do need heavy pink because this is oddly difficult to see. 58k? Oh, baby. <laughs> I can... Holy oh, shit! I get it! Holy Christ! I did not conceive of the power of Gara Until this... Immaculate, beautiful moment. Please. Reset. Oh, baby. Oh. <laughs> let's freaking slide. Let's let's get to 100k. Mm, 90k. Slap it in there, baby. Slap it legitimately good. Slide into the piece. Oh, heavy ladge. Please, sir. Please, sir. I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. We're good. We're back. We're back. Slide in here. Ruin this man's whole career. Let's go. <laughs> 108k. Let's go, baby. It's hammer time. <laughs> 115. 118. Let's go. Give me the energy. I'm desperate. I'm hungry. You've never seen a man this hungry before. He's about to slam 12 and a half big Macintoshes. Beautiful if true. Did that work? Did I did I just miss it? 120. <laughs> yeah. Let's actually go. Please, give me the juice! Just in time. Hang on, did I just get it from someone else's? You're witnessing a man pog right now? Alright, allow me to slide into the piece here. Okay, 130k. <laughs> Hang on. Be real with me. Let me just, let me just be in the vicinity and let me just freaking die! Alright, be real with me, chat. Is Gara just infinitely ridiculous? Is Gara the the fabled snow snowball frame? Is that what we're dealing with here? Yes, she is. She's pretty good. <laughs> I love it. This is actually even not that bad in terms of energy now granted it's probably aided by the squad but this is pretty cool man this is pretty cool all right my goal is to murder that man my goal is to get to 200k, please, ideally. That would be great. That was a big one. Please, I need energy. Please, this is a Wendy's. I'm a simple man who's about to lose my damage bonus. Make sure to hold one when you break your four. 
you get the slash damage ex explosion that's actually good unlike puncher ah okay cool you got to change the glass to a to a clear color because everyone gets annoyed if they can see if they can see where to shoot or you mean if they can't see where to shoot so my, my glass is pretty clear but it's also kind of hard for me to see she is what me and my clan mates call quite pog. <laughs> you love to see it. <clears throat> oh, I'm out of the juice. That's the juggle of Gara. Need continuous energy. You know what? I'm I'm here for the energy grind. Yeah. See now I'm out of the I'm out of the big boy juice. Oh, yo, that's that's really my only issue is that you can't um you can't use a glass whip at angles it's a straight shot or nothing yeah so how come it appears clear sometimes and like orange other times i'm not really sure what's going on there The problem with two clear glasses is that you can't see yourself. Yeah, yeah. See, I can see it now. The red lining from underneath the platform might turn it orange. Oh, okay. I see you. Squad. Where to go? I see you. I see you. Just Warframe being Warframe. You love to see it. <laughs> this is good. She's the high score frame. Glass has some refraction to it. Yeah, I think I think that seems to be the case. Because even if I cast a small one here, yeah, that's that's definitely what it is. Cool beans. Okay, so riddle me this: um, if you shatter a larger ring, do you get a larger damage bonus? Frames like this, why Frost is irrelevant? <laughs> oh, poor Frost. Mm. Beautiful display. No, just a larger AoE, possibly. Yeah, okay. Okay. This is freaking great, man. So, I mean, it was it's pretty clear that despite the fact that I, I already liked her, I was, I was playing her wrong. Oh my Christ, the ledge! Extraction is ready. I, I never even been, been... Let's do one more. I haven't even been paying attention to, to my rank. That's how you know, guys. Only rank 21? Bamboozled. I believe the damage does scale based on ring size. Yes, but not significantly so. Okay, I won't worry too much about it then. Damage is added based on melee mod. Right. No life of the panels depends on the life of the enemies that are glassed. Oh, okay. Okay. Another habit you should make is always having the energizing dash buff. Up at all times? All times? Jeez. I'm only one man. And a simple man at that. Oh, hang on. Yeah, that's that's why I need to cut it early. Because it drains energy as we go. Gotcha. Slide out of the piece. Slide into the piece.
Come on. Oh, I'm out of juice. Juice me. I've hit the wrong button and paid the price. Oh, my gentle Christ! Look at this nonsense! Sorry, Chad, if I'm neglecting you, but I'm I'm so concerned with with getting this high score. <laughs> well, yes, because if it's not up, then you're not regenerating energy, meaning you'll run out at some point. I mean, I get what you're saying. It's just a lot of work. Um, yeah, and I wouldn't love to do it with this lag. Oh, no. Yeah, that's, that's really not fun. That's right. I'll try it out when I'm solo. Magnificent beans. Gotta love the internet shitting itself. It's just because I'm playing with people on the other side of the world. Just every now and then press 5. Uh, it's actually caps lock. The true transference button. Horrible. Run your sets, thank you, T edits. You love to see it. Anyone know when the next update's coming? More, more to the point, does anyone know when when uh, Protea Deluxe is coming? That's all I care about. No, oh! I need energy, please, at all times. Squire. If you do Equilibrium plus Flow, it's great for energy issues. Oh! Or that, uh... I mean, look. The the energy mod... The energy augment for Gara is... That's on the three, right? I'm, I mean, I'm not really using the three. But hang on, the... That has some sort of interaction with the two as well, doesn't it? I can't remember what it is now. It's coming with a next update. Yes! I mean, fair warning. When Protea Prime... Uh, Pro Protea Prime. Well, I mean, yes. But when Protea Deluxe comes, I'm not playing anything else, ever. That's it. Apparently, uh, the uh, Protea Deluxe design was originally meant for Mag, which is interesting. I could see that working there as well. Respectable. Beautiful. FY Agara's 1 is semi stat stick, meaning its benefits from the mods. Are yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there, there was a tip for it. So, it is, it is mentioned. But again, it's like... Which mods? <laughs> you need the augment to get energy moves. Yep, yep. But like, how is it worth getting? Reinforcements available. I'm excited to see the YouTube vid on Gara. Now I gotta go to bed. Have a great day, people. And thank you for being here and have a magnificent night. Like I said before, thick thighs save lives, but Protea Deluxe is the entire hospital. <laughs> Small Kappa. <laughs>
Elemental melee damage mods. Yeah, okay. Augment is the reason why 3 is used. Ah, it's basically the case when the weak ability gets band-aided by an augment. Yeah, yeah, okay. Hang on, let's see if we got any more capacity. I actually should be able to get the augments. Maybe? Maybe we can fit it on. Combo mods too. We offer these to aid you, Tenno. Ah, I need to be flawless. Freaking rude. What was the other one? It was, um... Was it Arbiters? A shame to see yes. such potential squandered. So you got to max out, essentially. Cool. <laughs> You can use three on defense objectives to distract enemies. Ah. Seen some really ridiculous builds based on the three though. It's a really cool idea. Like when I read it, I was like, yo. But then I used it and I was like, oh, yo. Can't wait for the revisiting Ash video. Did I say that this, this was coming? Because I don't know about this. I don't think I've promised a revisiting Ash video. Wait, is it actually? No, I don't think so. You didn't. Okay, good. I was going to say. <laughs> I'm just memeing. Gotcha. Can't wait for the Severgoth video. I can't wait to actually try to get him. Um... I'm is it, what is it? It's, um... Secret! August Secrets. What am I talking about? What if we do that? Hang on. I want to slide on into the... No. Um, abilities real quick. If you're willing to go back, I got a fun one-shot execution build you can try out. L look, mate, if I do, it won't be for a while. But if I do, I'll let you know and I'll get, to get that build off you. Need more efficiency, TBH? Do the tips tell that you can cast two on allies? Yep. Yeah. And objects you need to defend, defense targets and, and even excavators, yeah. So that's what I was doing exclusively um, before the stream when I was just playing by myself. Now I understand the power of casting it on myself. I mean, in theory, I could just do the same thing, right? If I'm casting on the defense objective, I can just maintain... Hang on, I can cast on the defense objective and myself simultaneously and can I replenish... That only replenishes the second cast, right? Because if I can, if I can keep steamrolling, snowballing on the defense objective and myself, that would be ridiculous. Yes, if your four passes through them, they all refresh. Jesus fuck. Can you imagine the solo potential? That way it's easy to keep track of timers too. Okay. I currently have Octavia, Wispy, Rally, Revenant, Trinity, Ready to Rank, and Garuda in the oven. Want to help me rank any up? Names. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, so what I was looking for specifically was I remember there being a tip about Spectro Spectro Rage. Splitter Storm's damage is increased when Spectro Rage's mirrors shatter within range. That's the one. So does that mean I mean, you still you still want to use the four because the four re resets Splinter Storm. Ah, oh, man, you'd need so much energy to, to get both going at once. Um, so silence, I think, said that I need more efficiency. So, I mean, maybe just for the ranking process. I had efficiency before, but the conventional wisdom has has been to forego it. I mean, I guess you got you got prime flow here, so there is that. <clears throat> what do you guys reckon? August secrets or flow slash efficiency? Then we're gonna have a look at her. Oh yeah, what was her um, flow? You reckon? Okay. <laughs> well, oh shit, that sort of freaked out for a second. Not today, not yet at least. <laughs> Natural talent helps too. For what purpose? Like I know what it does but what um what's it helping with a stiller excellent time Maybe you guys talking about... Oh, okay. Oh, well, I can't get that. Um, Fusilay. And that's... Oh, no, that one is... Purchasable. Her one and four cast times. So... Does that mean that the ring grows quicker? I don't know, I feel like it's, um, I'm not having trouble with that at the moment. I mean, considering that I'm not going to, um, <clears throat> potato or, or former her anytime soon, I think I'd rather fill up the slots with, with something else. What am I doing? I'm gonna build stuff. I'm gonna see where you're coming from. August Secrets is neg neg negligible TBH. Your damage scaled, uh, infinitely with your 2-4 combo, it's best to improve other stats, like efficiency. Well then I should, um, I mean I can't yet. It's, August Secrets is on there because that's all that fits. Um, unless I take off um, strength entirely. And then just fill it with other shit. Silently lacerate enemies with Gar Gara's signature glass throwing knives. Good God. <laughs> you got a build for Mirage. I, I don't, personally. How much juice have I got? Yeah, okay. Let's get this going. 
Until then. All right, let's take her out again. Okay, yeah, so what was the ruling here? Do we take off... Um, I mean, if you guys want efficiency... I could take off Intensify. Does Strength even buff anything in a kit? Yeah, I mean, it, it, damage, obviously. Um, the damage multiplier of two and the damage reduction. Yeah. Okay, I mean, keep the strength, yeah. So look, I'm going to put August Secrets back on, because nothing else will fit currently. Do you have enough energy pizzas to spam? I mean, I don't need to anyway. No, yeah, we're just ranking her up. Once we get to max rank, we can sort her out. But I'm not, I'm not really running out of energy that much. Need a range? Um, I mean, that's what I had originally. Oh, that'll put us up to 10 mirrors. We can actually try out the mirrors. My stat stick for Gara. Next I experiment, that's the best way to find out what works best for you. Yeah, I, I don't disagree. <laughs> Bunch of mods I don't own. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Ricky start new squad because I'm host for some reason. The full build runs reach and strength. I mean, which build are you talking about? Um, yeah, right, let's try this. <clears throat> let's head on back. Do you need Affinity Blessing? Ah, oh, look! Yeah, wouldn't hurt. But, that's fine. <clears throat> the enemy is at our doorstep. You must defend our equipment until reinforcements arrive. Daki? I've never heard of this before. It's, it's a bow? Alright, here we go. Yo, we're at 28 seconds. And I've cut here alright. So we're on the we're on the defense target. And myself. <laughs> oh baby. You absolutely love to see it. Already at 49.7k. 
Let's legitimately go. Is it still on the... How can you tell if it's still on the target, though? Yo, that just doubled the D? We're out of control. You guys ever been out of control before? <laughs> You'll see the glass around it? It's kind of hard to tell looking through my own glass, you know? Hang on, let me, let me cast it again. Honestly, I don't think I ever saw... Like, when I was playing solo, I didn't see glass around the defense target when I cast. Man's already at 150k. E easy win, first try. Don't even trip. You ever glassed a man before? In real time? You can also benefit from the four of another Gara. Yeah, 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 I'm noticing that. Which is great, so I don't have to cast it as often. <laughs> 200k! How did it get so high so quick? That's a record, squad. Yo, Yenchi, welcome to the stream. It's Pog Central right now. <laughs> Run into motherfuckers? Is that how I did it? Oh, buddy. Remember when I thought she was a, a, a finisher frame? How wrong I was. <laughs> oh, baby. Let's go. Let's legitimately go. All right, that's fine. It's reset, but that's fine. Okay, cast on the thing. Oh yeah, it is glassing. That's okay. I see it now. Yeah, reset me, baby. Let's actually go. This, all right, so I'm not, I still don't quite understand what, what's giving us such a huge damage buff when we get it. Maybe it has to do with, with who's in the radius. That would make sense. Thank you for the refresh. Okay. Melee mod? No, 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 but it's, but it's variable. That's what I'm talking about. Like, right now, we don't have a lot of damage, but a few minutes ago, we got to 200k in no time at all. So there's something that's different between those two instances. The other Gara is giving you 5k buffs. So when they break... 
See that goes for? They're shattering it to give you... Oh, okay. Alright, that makes perfect sense there. Cool, 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 cool. Yo, that 26 life? I shattered at the wrong moment, but it's fine. So you're using Gara? I sure am. Hello, Ricky and Chad. Hello. The Chovy. Hello. Welcome to the stream. It's Gara time. Here in Pog Central. Ah, see, that's just a horrible placement. All right, give me the juice, please. We're juiced up and ready. Roided and juiced and ready to pog. Hundred and sixty-two k. Let's legitimately go. I was never into it because I didn't feel like getting a stat stick and trying to keep max combo for a glass. Um. So, look, we'll talk about Stat Stick once we rank her up, I think. We'll, we'll look at what's involved there. But I won't stress too much about it. Thank you for the Hydrate. The moment we're not worried about... Uh, <laughs> Keeping our damage up, we'll, we'll make that happen for you. One seventy K, easy. Rank twenty seven. Let's slide. Extraction is ready. Keep me in, coach. Keep me going. Continue to defend. You will be rewarded for your bravery. I'm still trying to find a favorite frame, TBH. They're all so fun. And I always am switching between them. That's... Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Variety is the spice of life, right? It's okay to be polyframerous. Yeah, okay, that's still glass. That's fine. Stastic on Gara isn't too necessary, as its main use isn't raw damage, but rather to enable 4 2 combo. I guess what it just. It's. If you have a Statstick, it just sort of saves you time, right? I mean, as it stands, I can get. Uh, I mean, we'll have a look at, at exact numbers in a in a second, if I can get like a couple of thousand, I guess, increase, let's test it out here, okay, two, that was 2k, three k, there's a bit of variation, I'm not sure why, One eighty five easy. I need a tenant melee for infinite combo fun. So what's what's the recommended melee? Crimson Sim Siren, hello. Welcome to the stream. It's Gara time, baby. This is incredible. Like <laughs> the difference between 
how I was playing Gara before and how I'm playing her now is a revelation. Alright, we're going to get to 2k. Partially under our own steam here. Are you going to try the new Urelli augment? Probably not anytime soon. Where do you get it from? It's very similar to Gara, but with Glaze. How's that? At this point, you don't need to fire your weapon. Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> so can I shatter other people's glass? You trade for it or have it from a sin- yeah, 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 but I'm asking which syndicate. It's just so satisfying walking into someone and them just dying. It's pretty good. We're at 248k. Two fifty K, don't even trip. I'm sorry, were you guys tripping? Please cease. Cephalon Suter, I think. New Loka. Was this a Ah, okay. I am in good standing with New Loka. Has <laughs> someone mentioned that your wall can big higher if you jump in the air and cast it? Yeah, yeah. I just, I kind of figure there's there's not much point right now, um, because I'm not letting it last. I'm not using it as a, as a shield, I guess. <laughs> Two sixty two. Let's go. Partners usually get the new stuff in the inbox. Augment skins. Don't you have them already? Certainly don't. No. I mean, I'll double check, but I don't think I do, no. I got, um... I got a Grendel skin and a Hildren skin, but I don't own those frames, so... Yeah, sort of pointless. How long is the stream going for? Hour 27 minutes. And you can always hit exclamation uptime to get an accurate reading. Three fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. 363. <laughs> oh, baby, yes. Now I need to use it with. Re what am I sorry? What am I using with Reef? Yo, 366. There's a bug if you cast your fall while aim gliding. Sometimes it doesn't reset your two's timer. Oh, okay. I'll watch out for that. The glass shots with re sorry. What is re? Is that a weapon? Like Mr. Warframe guy. Sorry, I don't understand this. <laughs> I don't understand what you're talking about. Reeve is, is Revenant's dash attack. So you're saying subsuming in Reeve? Three seventy six. Mr. Warframe guy is a meme YouTuber. Really good one, actually. Okay, there you go.
Right. S um, so, is the idea there that... That Dash gets you... Exposed to more enemies quicker? So you glass more individuals? Ah, Jesus. 428! You stack your two, then dash on people? <laughs> you love to see it? 431! Let's go! <laughs> 478! 481. You ever seen a man glass this many individuals before? You ever seen a man glass up like this? <laughs> I wonder if there's an upper limit. Yo, we're at max rank. Who'd have thunk it? Pump me. Juice me. Let's go. Juice me up, baby. 533! <laughs> Holy shit. Ah. Uh. Beautiful, if true. All right, let's refresh here. We'll refresh and find some lords. Oh, the instant death. It truly is instant murder. <laughs> oh, even the Nox. <laughs> Yo, the juice. Let's go. Sup, Nox. <laughs> oh, sweet baby Jesus. 6.34. And counting. Did you just three tap a Nox just by existing? Yes, I did. Clip that. Oh, let's... No, we, we need to keep going. We're too hyped up on Pog Juice. We can't stop now. <laughs> Garen, you main? Look, I don't know, man. I'm not I'm not making any calls as of yet. No, no, no. We lost it, guys. We lost the pog. Okay, thank you for the energy. <laughs> Yo, we're at 34? What is even happening? What in the legitimate ass is this? I think survival would be better. Yeah, maybe. Jesus H Christ. My eyes are dying from energy storm. Dude, this will probably give you eye cancer. <laughs> oh, this was a mistake, and yet it's so beautiful. Let me just exist in your area, please. Hot glass in your area. Double O, double five. Let's go. Alrighty. Did did we glass the objective too? It is glassed. Okay. Oh no. Furnish me with juice, please. We're good. An easy 107k. 
<laughs> Four Gara survival, let's go. Look, I tell you what, that'll be the second half of the video. It's going to be Pog City. Oh, the energy spam is honestly a war crime in and of itself. A war crime the likes of which no one has ever seen before. Nor has ever conceived. This is going to be a VOD for the ages. We gotta let the YouTube peeps know. <laughs> Glass me, Caliban, Ricky, sir, uwu. Glass incoming. Sweet mother of... Margulis. Sliding in. 211k, easy. Did someone say juice? The greatest juice of all? Passion fruit. Sir? I require you to cease to exist? He's still with us. Is this man being glassed or what? didn't glass my Caliban? Oh, you, you mean actually glass your Caliban? Where are you? Over here? Glassing? <laughs> so do all the timers reset in sync when I reset? Because in theory I've got myself Caliban and the defense target all ticking over. 316k. Now I understand the power of glass. <laughs> 320k. The pogs are undeniable. Please, sir, I need you to be glassed. That was just... Look, just hecking someone in the face when you have this much glass is the ultimate insult. Thank you for the clip, by the way, Project. Oh, baby. You guys ever cleared a wave before? I didn't think so. Sir, cease to exist! How is this legal? The only thing that shatters Gara is nullifier? Didn't we go through some nullifiers before? I thought I did, but the it like it doesn't. The, it doesn't cancel the two, it just keeps going. Still hate nullifiers. The bane of our existence. Now imagine if you had a hammer made of glass to bash some Grenier head in while doing the walk of death. It would be ultimately unnecessary, but I'm here for it. Hey Nibbler, you still glassed? All right, let's let's head out of here. It's it's too pogged otherwise. And we gotta we gotta hit at least one arbitration today. Ooh. Oh my gentle Christ. I'm I'm ruined. I'm utterly ruined as a man and a streamer. You have new quests in your Ah, you look like a tenno. Imagine that the arbitration is 300% Gara. <laughs> Yo, you got any room? Yeah, we can make room. 
Gara comes with glass, cannon, shotgun, glass throwing blades, and glass hammer. You should try them. They're... Some of them are building. Two of them are building. Stats for damage last mission. That's a great point. Stats. Here we go. Um, damage dealt. I was only 15%. Gara Prime, okay. Damage, damage dealt. It doesn't show a, a straight number, does it? It's just percentage. Still. So that's Prime. Grendel, Caliban. At least you won't run out of energy. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, we got a free slot, so just slide on in. Who was it? Co uh, Coconut Fell? Wanted to come on in? All right. <laughs> All right, so let's, let's throw Streamline in here, I guess. Wait, let me go back to... What was the... Steel Charge. Really? Okay. Interesting. Their stat stick for more damage. Yeah, so... What do you guys recommend? We go real <laughs> butt deep with Statistic. Pangola Sword. Interesting. Music's a vibe, I agree, thank you. <laughs> Ricky do be vibing to his own music though. It's a rare occurrence. I don't have this, do I? No. Just um I don't need just tell tell me weapons. That's all I wanna. Skana, yeah? Oh, Syndicate mods. Jaw Sword. Skana, right. Oh, well, let's have a look at this. I mean, look. <laughs> it's not ready, you know? So hang on, what makes those... What makes those good choices? You can use anything. So I mean, we're looking for damage and status, right? Riven? What if I don't know if I have anything rivened. Oh, this thing's rivened. I mean, yeah, what I was this is what I was already using.
Also high disposition on the ribbons. What does that mean? You have a three dispo on that weapon? Riven Disposition modifies the performance of an equipped Riven mod. More fill dots indicate stronger stats. Right. Okay. So that's got a better Riven Disposition. Is that defined by the weapon or is that random at all? Okay, well, I mean, from the moment that I don't have a Riven for Skana, I can't imagine that's, that's Riven disposition is going to be um, too useful to us. Skana is good because of the Bright Purity mod from the Syndicate. It gives an additional 100% damage on top of the other damage. Interesting. Defined by the weapon D, just disposition based on how popular they are. Right. So, is it more disposition for popular ones or less disposition for popular ones? For Gara, go for damage mods. Crit is irrelevant. Right on. Okay. Um, we offer these to aid you. Yeah, I gotta... Hang on, what do I need to... Give what you can oh, okay. To yeah, I need us. I need stuff. Okay, so I don't have access to it, yeah. More popular equals less powerful rhythm. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, let's set up a new... Oh. Already got a config there. Let's get rid of this ship. Um, crit chance status. We'll leave that off for the moment. So no crit. Melee damage per status type affecting the target. Maybe. Oh, yeah, we've already got that. Okay, so then... Do I have anything special? Like, um... That's what I'm looking for. Not condition overload. Pressure plus overload is a no-no. Really, why is that? Those give status? No status as stat stick for Gara. Oh, I thought status was something that... Okay. Don't think overload applies to a one. Okay. Raw damage and crits. So hang on, hang on. Do crits work or do they not? Unless I misread the previous comment. They don't. Crits not sure. Okay. So they don't. So what other raw damage could I put on this? Gar only cares about flat damage. North wind? Okay. 
element mods. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, okay, so what you're saying is the status chance is irrelevant. So this is not a good choice because it's only plus 60 as opposed to, you know, like potentially plus 90. Is that what you're saying? Ah, I gotcha. Cool beans. So then we can just load up with... Um, I wish there was a way to just search all of all of these that I have, but whatever. Actually, can we go like plus 90? Can we search that? We can. <laughs> so what if we just go nuts with that? Do you have spoiled strike? Almost certainly no, but let's have a look. No. Um, so, I mean, I could get a little more, no, I can't, because that won't fit. Never mind. Okay, I think I, I think I get it. Carnus Mandible, we give Slash. Yeah. Or collision force. Melee combo counter mods are useful too. The lash damage increases with the combo counter of your equipped melee. Just put two elements for 120% damage? <laughs> You're alive? Yes? Sorry. Do, um... Puncher slash mod, since your one is either puncher or slash. You guys said slash was better, right? No impact. Okay, okay. So what would happen if... It's literally the same, just preference. Try collision force. Or 260% elements. And see which increases your total damage more. So if I put impact on... I'm just trying to understand... Because I, <laughs> so it's no impact because it doesn't work, or no impact because you think something else is better. Okay. Seventeen thirty nine point seven. Yeah, no, we 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 were better before. The one doesn't do impact. Impact doesn't contribute to the damage pool. Okay, so that's confusing. You're modding this for statistic, yeah. I right, see that's confusing because the one doesn't do these damage types either. So why does it matter that it doesn't do impact? Impact doesn't get added. This is brutally confusing. 
<laughs> Puncture is also very low, so 9% doesn't really matter. Low in what sense? Low on what? We're confused together, don't worry. Okay, <laughs> this is good. 23 damage. Oh, because it's adding what is already existing. It's, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think I get it. I think I get it. Um... So this isn't adding damage, it's just increasing the damage that already exists. Is that, is that correct? Because that's a little ambiguous, right? If it's plus something, I'm inclined to think that it's adding it, even if it's... Yeah, okay, see that's ambiguous. Gotcha. Now it makes sense. But... Status damage doesn't work like that. Status damage will add. So physic... Is that correct? Adds a percentage of what's there. Yes, okay. Yeah, yeah, but... Yeah, so it's... My confusion is that there's, um... If I'm understanding this, the, like, physical damage types, shall we say, aren't... <laughs> In the mods, they're not added where they don't already exist, but stuff like radiation, viral, etc. will add if it doesn't exist. Status and physical are different. Right. So you ca you can't add a fi you can't add physical damage that isn't already present on the weapon, but you can add status damage that isn't already present on the weapon. Thank you. Now it makes perfect sense. <laughs> now I'm not confused out of my gourd. Okay. So how does this differ to what we had before? Um, wow. Our damage previously was, uh, 718. And, is that correct? Yes. And now, it's, uh, well, it's more than a thousand damage increase. Element mods are additive, while physical mods are percentage-based. But they're written the same, right? Which is why it's so freaking confusing. See, because it's plus, like I get, like it, it's, it, it's, it, <laughs> it could be read either way, but yeah, because, because they're written in the same way, even though they behave differently, that's why it's confusing. Cool. Thank God Warframe is an easy game. <laughs> Does hold one can as heavy? That's a good question. Cool. All right. I'm glad we sorted that out. Let's slide into, um, oh, we got to do an arbitration. My God. We've got no, we've got like no time for it now, but that's all right. <laughs> I wanted to do a survival as well, but that's fine. Um, okay. Let's do, let's do an arby. Wherever that is over here. Um, wouldn't it be great if, um, if we got a, a bonus for Gara? Doesn't count as heavy. Okay. All right. If you want to slide in and, and give us a hand, now is your chance. Are we doing full Gara squad? We can do full Gara squad if you want and absolutely clean up. Arby's is like the best fast food. We don't have that here. Let me open game. I feel like chat's going to disagree with me on this, but I feel like the best fast food in Australia at least, is, and I mean like, real fast food, not, I'm excluding like boutique -y, 
mum and pop like sandwich shops and that sort of stuff. I'm talking about fast food chains. I think the best fast food chain in Australia is KFC. Just from a, a quality standpoint. That being said, you can go to a bad KFC. You 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 can't really go to a bad Maccas. Like it's very rare that you'll find a bad Maccas. There's was just kind of, and sorry, I mean McDonald's for 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 those non-Australians. Um but there's a, a, a good McDonald's doesn't exist. Bad, a bad McDonald's doesn't exist, but a truly good one doesn't exist either. But KFC is like real chicken, where everyone does that reconstituted crap. It's, I'm here for it. Is it true that Australia has the worst internet for gamers? Ah, oh, no, I wouldn't say so. Um, it used to be the case. But like, what do you mean for gamers? Like, you're talking about latency? The biggest issue is is like server locations. You know, if we don't have oceanic servers, it's it's pretty it's pretty fucked. I've gotten banned McDonald's before. Oh, my my truest condolences. You have my sympathies. Ping and download. Uh, well, it used to be horrendous. Yeah, it. We recently ish got a new network, and for a while that was still horrendous, and it's run horrendously, but. To give you um, to give you an example of what is possible, though not everywhere, I have 100 down and 50 up, and as long as I'm playing in Oceanic servers, my ping is. Hey, you want a break? My ping is around 20. A lot of it has to do with, um, with just the fact that we're miles away from the rest of the English-speaking world. In my country, we have mostly McDonald's and KFC. KFC is definitely the best. There you go. You'll love to see it. Have you tried Gauss yet? I have, yeah. Gauss is fun, but I don't play him perhaps as much as I should. God, I found some horrible KFC in the UK. Well, Mackey's is always the same. That's the that's the whole thing, right? Um, I mean, out here, KFC in the western suburbs wouldn't trust it. <laughs> it can get pretty gross. But my local one is 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 pretty dope. People in Europe say KFC is the worst. It's okay, people in Australia do too. Um, I actually don't personally know anyone who really likes KFC. I got one friend who calls it Dirty Bird. Which I just, I find completely wild. I mean, sure, it can be greasy, but like... I mean, if you're out here chugging uh, Chicken McNuggies, and then, and then you're saying KFC is bad, I feel like there's some... Uh, a ludo narrative dissonance on that one, but I just I just can't stand that reconstituted chicken, you know, when that when they when they take a whole bird and just munch it up and then paste it into a mold and batter it to within an inch of its life. That's just not for me. I live in in Czech Republic. Most people I've spoken to prefer KFC over McDonald's. Let's actually go. Rise up, chicken squad. Once I swear I had cardboard balls instead of meatballs. Where was this? <laughs> oh, Subway? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like Subway's gone downhill here real quick. Um, real, real quick. And it also might depend heavily on the specific location. I, I've definitely gone to some good subways in my time, but mostly pretty bad ones where, like, they leave the meat out for years. <laughs> not literally, but, you know, it's pretty not great. Wilted lettuce across the board. Is Ricky actively avoiding? To hold the fourth skill? What do you mean hold it? You mean leave it up? 
I'm just uh, I'm just out here using it to up my uh, my glass damage. I'm just I'm just farming the four. Use and abuse. Italian Mackies is undefeated purely because they sell dinner me so Um when I was when I was in mainland Italy, um, when I was seven, I freaking pogged out of my gourd at their Maccas. They sold beer. It was like a, a multi-story epic. It was great. Ricky running around the map with Gara. He can only hear enemies in pain. <laughs> That's how we do it. 274k. Don't even trip. Also saw a few Subways and Pizza Huts here, but that's probably all I can think of when it comes to fast food in here. So I may have missed. Where are you from? Check. Right, 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 right. Yeah, interesting. I mean, compared to the US, um, Australia doesn't have like the vast majority of the chains that they take for granted over there. But like we certainly have of the ones we have, there are a lot of them. And uh and more are coming. We're talking like two McDonald's a hundred meters away from each other. Which I I mean can't even fathom how they how they manage to do business. But they must Natural Angari is actually also really nice, so I've heard. You hold the fourth to make big glass? You don't hold the button. You just you just let it expand. Like just letting it go like this, but the, but the idea is um, I don't want it to get big because I don't want to waste energy on it because like, I'm not I'm not keeping it around. Three hundred and ten thousand, easy. Fun fact: Starbucks barely exists in Australia. That's right. <laughs> Would you love to see? We also have Starbucks here, oh, but I don't know if it counts as fast food. Yeah, maybe not fast food, but certainly a chain. Oh, I let it lapse. Um, it's a chain for sure. I think it pseudo counts. We don't have a lot of stuff here yet. The biggest in Australia, a McDonald's, KFC, Hungry Jackson. A porter? Sorry, what? A porter? What is that? You doubled the, the damage from stat stick. Let's peep it. I've never been paying attention to how much I'm getting back. Oh, I was, I think, inside at that point. Yep, that's a pretty big increase. <laughs> the Porto is a Portuguese chicken place. Maybe it's bigger in Sydney than Melbourne. I have literally never heard of this. I mean, we got Nando's. <laughs> Is it anything like that? It sounds interesting though, like I'm a I'm a big chicken boy. I think we have two Nandos in, in Sydney. 
Riddle me this. Is a Porto as overpriced as Nando's? <laughs> a Porto is shit? Oh no. Oh no. You hate to see it. Please allow me to exist in your presence. Oh my Christ, he just realized, look at all the freaking buffs on me. He's basically legally sold food poisoning. Ah, so it's Taco Bell. Um, apparently we've got, but you can count on one hand the amount of Taco Bells we have here. I literally never seen one until midway through last year. Losing it because it sounds like you're saying is a porno as overpriced as Nando's. I mean, that's a that's I think that's a relevant question My mother actually got so sick from it. She ended up lactose intolerant. Yikes Didn't even know that was possible Okay, 109. There you go, so we're up to 10k increases here. Just nuked all the gut bacteria. Ah! Gotta get on that probiotic. Just thought of one more Burger King. Yeah, we call it Hungry Jacks here. Um, I used to be big into Hungry Jacks. But either they've gone downhill or my standards have increased. Their prices have certainly gone up. Like, holy Christ. Um... 161. Easy money. Um. But yeah, like, the, the, the burgers are just wet, you know? They're so soggy. It's pretty gross. Like, they're nice enough, but man, it's just... I'm dripping after it. It's not a pleasant experience. I thought Hungry Jacks was a different brand, the Burger King. No, apparently they're the... They're, I'm given. I, I think they're the same company. That's my understanding. Fast food is fun, but don't make it a daily thing. You will regret it in the long term. Take care of your bodies. Absolutely. Um, everything in moderation, guys, you know? Ooh, Squire. Um, and everyone's different and has different tolerances too. Come to Slovenia and McDonald's have Slovenian meat inside. Actually tastes like a good burger. Yo, let me tell you. There's, uh, there's a great burger place over here called 8-Bit. And the, the best way I can describe it is... It's McDonald's burger, but made with good ingredients. So it makes you feel sick and gross afterwards. But unlike normally when you feel sick and gross and you go, Oh, never again. You go, I feel horrible and I can't wait for the next time. There's just something about it. It's so... It's the best dirty, gross burger I've ever had. <laughs> oh no, I've been nullified. Um, oh, I've been, I've been, they got me, they finessed me. Is this an endless mission? <clears throat> That's how I feel after a last snack pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, uh, I was first in introduced to an HSP in, uh, I think 2018. I had no idea what they were before that. And, buddy. It's just like making love to a piece of garlic. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Alright, see you, Tim. Have a good night. Thanks for being here. What are you collecting, uh, collecting Vitus for? For, uh, Grendel. It is endless, yes. Cool, cool, cool. 
protect the remaining dig sites. Sweet. You know what? Just whatever. Um, it's called Hungry Jacks in Australia because there was already a company called Burger King when they expanded over here. Right. This does ring a bell. That company has since gone under, but they kept the name because nobody knows them as Burger King. Yeah. Also, I feel like Hungry Jacks, it, it feels a little more Australian. I think it probably worked out better for them in the long run, I imagine. I think Gr Grendel needs Cedar Loot to craft. Mabes, but I need the, the beacons first. To even get his parts. Fuck no, I want an HSV. Oh, buddy. Look, I, I, haven't, I haven't wanted one in, in years. <laughs> but, um, I think maybe I need one. When you do, Grendel will need a poll to see if you rage quit. Oh, no. So I looked into it because I, um, I actually wasn't sure if I, if I had the beacon thingies yet. I thought I did, but I guess I don't. And I was going to start recording them this, this week because it's just been a, a mess of a week schedule wise. Um, so I looked into what was involved and yeah, so you, what, you lose all your mods is the gist of it. Excavator is ready to go. So I was thinking of using Protea because then at least I can get energy back and I have control over that. What do you guys think? Making love to a piece of garlic, Ricky 2022. Well, you guys never wanted to do that? One thirty k. Rest frame for the Grendel mission is Protea by far. Yeah, now we're talking. Hildren is a close second. Right on. I do not possess Hildren. <laughs> Thank you, Hypersectomy. Glad to hear you're pogged out of your skull. Even though I've lost my big buff. All right, we got. We still only have four. Hang on, let me find the full squad. Um, thank you for the six months. Welcome back to the Perp Squad. Welcome to the Perp Squad. Yeah, you need to plan your squad to get Grendel. So I guess um, doing it solo, solo is um, too ambitiously masochistic, huh? You don't lose mods. You just get disabled. Yeah, well, you don't get you don't get to use them. Hilda's not the hardest frame to get. Uh, doubt. Heavy doubt. Um, and a mission is best place in Fortuna for mining, right? I mean, just getting the rep is a nightmare. Tbh. Should we? Um... All right, let's let's get out of here after our fifth. Uh, Vitus. You want CC frame with armor and status weapons like Ignis Wraith and Amprex. Right. I used to be pogged out of my skull about Amprex, but I haven't used it in so long. If you do it solo, your computer will be thrown. <laughs> at the nearest window, Keck. That's alright, I can deal with that. <laughs> also, you can have each squad member pop a different navigator. This way you don't have to buy all three of them yourself. Ah, okay. Yeah, look, we'll, we'll, we'll make it a stream event then. I won't bother recording it. I mean, I think I just had some... Um, some sadistic individuals who are like, yeah, record it, it'll be great. <laughs> also, you don't lose the navigator if you happen to fall, fail the mission. Yeah, that's... That's real handy. Protect the unit 
while it extracts the artifact. If you want to challenge your Grendel missions alone, make sure the game is hard at least once. No, I'm good. <laughs> I don't, um, I don't need to renew my hardcore gamer card. TBH weapons are mostly useless in these missions. The tactic I used to solo them was main dispensary plus spam damage satellites. Damage satellites? Amprex for Corpus and Ignis Wraith for Grenier. Has to be this way or you won't make it if you use those. I just, I'm surprised. I would have thought that there, there'd be um, a better weapon than those, but no. Should know that you keep installed augments. Even when mods get removed from your build. Right. Okay. Pro the oh the the turret, the shotgun. Gotcha. Yeah, I figured that that Like we can at least remain in action, even if the damage is not huge. With some stick to itiveness. Protea should be able to get it done. Uh, 207k. Easy money. Got a little sculpture action. Wait. There is, but mods are gone, so the goal is spamming status effects. Gotcha. FYI, Octavia can easily solo Grendel missions. That would actually that was actually going to be my second choice. Um, my concern there is that I would be a lot squishier as Octavia than as Protea. Oh my general Christ. Where's the energy fountain when you need it? Just bring a new core or Psychron. If you want to shed status effects. I mean, I've always got a new core handy. I never leave home without it. Best CC is dead enemies. Protea is great for it. <laughs> now you got it. The best defense is war crimes. And you can quote me on that. Don't worry, if you fail the mission, beacon stays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, give me the Vitus. Oh, rude. That's fine. Poor timing. Yo, yo, yo! Alright, let's get out of here. That's the that's what we needed. I need so much more, but... That's okay. Maybe chat can help me out. I can buy one and chat can help me with the others if they have them. The best defense is war crimes. <laughs> 2022, that's true. He was a time traveler. And he's come back to give us wisdom. Yo. You ever seen a man glass? For 420,000 damage? This is what it looks like. You may not like it. But this is peak performance. Unbelievable. I just had, I had no idea. I was, I was utterly ignorant as to the majesty of Gara.
All right, let's let's get into dance mode. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Arcane bodyguard. Do I have one of those? Let's let's peep some stats stats here. I feel like I was away from the group enough that maybe. Hey. Yo. Not bad. Could be worse. <laughs> Alright, so, so hang on. Something I want to check is um, if I go back to Protea, for example. Excellent okay, so we stay on Configuration B with that. That being said, like, if we're doing more damage, I may as well just keep this situation, huh? The damage taken, though? Huge if true. Alright. We've done it!